What's going on guys, it's Josh Yosh here and I'm joined by my sister, Tilly. who is Tilly, and we are unboxing the Nintendo Labo and Tilly's disappeared. <laughs> there she is, Nintendo Labo, and we are very excited to unbox this. So, make, play and discover, as it says on the box. So, we also have our switches, there's mine with the green and pink Joy-Cons, and then we've got Tilly's with the Super Mario edition. But con controllers, which I really would like, but I can't because <laughs> you can't get them on separately, which is unfair. <laughs> so we both have these as well, which are Nintendo Labo customization sets, which come separately for about nine pounds. So you can get you get like extra tape and stuff. So that's what that is used for. So we both have the same kit. We both have the variety kit, and so does Tilly. Um, and I also got this free pencil case as well, with some pens, which is really cool. So, let's get to unboxing this then. Here she is. <laughs> okay, so we're going to unbox this, and me and Tilly are very excited to unbox this, because we've been waiting quite, quite, how long has it been? About a few months? Yeah. Yeah, we're very excited. So let's get opening this. So let's going to pull this tab down. Oh my god, I can't even open the box. I did. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh my god, I actually ripped the box. <laughs> Do you want my box? No, it's fine, it's okay. <laughs> so, right from the start on the inside, you have the game card, which is in this this little case, like this, saying Toy-Con 1. And this is the software to create all five of the Toy-Cons that are included in the set, which are, which are the RC car, the fishing rod, where is it? Okay. The, R the RC car, the fishing rod, um, the house, which is down here, and the piano and the motorbike. So we're all very excited about that. So what's in the box? So we've got little plastic, these plastic things, which are string, reflective tape, and other things. And they're all included, so you don't get have to worry about anything going separately. And then underneath that, you have all of I'll just show you this bit. All the <laughs> the cardboard. Tilly's not in the picture. There she is. <laughs> and here's all the cardboard. Woo! So there's all different colours. So there's black, blue, red, and green. And each of and each of them correspond to the coloured toy cons that we'll be making. So very exciting. And also, stick to the end of the video because we will be doing a time lapse of us creating the RC car to start off with. So, stay tuned for that. So, anyway, that's the unboxing for this Nintendo Labo. So, thank you guys for watching. You need to say thank you and see you guys in the next video. Bye. Okay, so it's day two actually because we've actually we completely forgot to do a time lapse of an RC car, but we do have. A pre-made one, so here's mine, which is a Joshi Yoshi inspired one with Bowser's face on it. And then my Mine's sister has a number one, and it's unicorn. And it's it's got a unicorn. Which is Looks cool. like it's trumping rainbows. So then also, what also we made yesterday was this, which is the Toy-Con house, which took a lot of time to do. I figured it took about two hours to do, and I completely forgot to do a time lapse, so that's the <laughs> problem. So there's that one. And then you, we also made these as well, which are like little things that you put into the house and then you can play up to nine separate games by putting these in different orders. And you've got these where you can like make the character inside the house go round and round into the two different portals. Exactly. That's that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a time lapse of the RC car like we promised yesterday. So, so stay tuned for that as it will be coming right now. Okay, so after that time lapse, we now have our RC cars, which are nowhere near as beautiful as the other ones. But now it's time to put the Joy Cons, these beautiful things, into into these. Envy of those controllers. So now we have to. Oh god! Now the only problem is we can't see where the minus is on the packet because it doesn't show up. Oh, we can do it like this. Why it tells you to flip it upside down to attach them? Oh, 
Um, which way? Oh, then this way. I think it's so you can see where you're sliding the controller in. That's still video, and we were just looking at it like, going, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, hold on. There we, so there's mine, the green and pink Joy-Con, and there's Tilly's with the red Joy-Cons. And then that is basically it. It's basically it. So then it's ready. And then you can also so then after have that, the... So antenna you've just got the antenna there. put on top of it using cardboard, and then... It's very colourful on the screen. It is definitely. Definitely aimed at kids, not me. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> so then, on... Yeah, it says... Be sure to play on a smooth surface, and then there are the Joy-Con controllers to attach. So they're the Joy-Con buttons. Mm. So then when <laughs> you... Put them down. It works on the table. So when you press them, it vibrates to make them move. As so. And then also you can. I see yours. Also, I see yours on my screen. So using the IR camera on the back of the this Joy-Con, you can actually see what's in front of it. Hand. Um. And also, it's very cool because you can also do auto as well. So what I can do is I can turn it onto auto, put my hand in front of it, and then it moves to my hand, which is quite cool. So anyway, very loud. and they are very loud depending on the frequency you have them on. And you can also use these, and these, which I have customized. So they're stoppers, and this white square actually is what the IR sensor picks up. Circle. I said square, didn't I? <laughs> um, and you can pick that up and it will actually pick up, it will move if you put auto setting on, which is quite cool. So anyway, that's the RC car unboxing and doing stuff like that. So anyway guys, thank you for watching. See you guys thank soon. You.